Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 33 of ASP.NET GridView tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about merging cells in GridView footer row. Let me explain what I mean. The employee's GridView control here has got four columns displaying employee ID, name, gender, and city columns. But look at the footer. It has got a single column. All the, all the four columns are actually merged into a single column. Let's see how to achieve this. We'll be using TBL employee table for this demo, so let's drag and drop a grid view control. Let's auto format this to use brown sugar scheme. Let's drag and drop SQL data source control onto the web form. Let's configure this. Let's select our connection string from web.config file. Click next. Let's select our TBL employee table. We want all the columns, so select star from TBL employee. Click next, test your query finish. Now let's associate our SQL data source control with our grid view control. All right. Now look at this. By default, the grid view controls footer is not visible. So we have to turn on, you know, a property to show the footer, which is show footer property. So get to the properties of the grid view control and then scroll all the way down to show footer. Look at that. By default, it's false. Let's turn that on. Now notice the footer row here. You know, it has got four columns within that one two three and four now our requirement is we need to merge those four cells into a single cell let's see how to achieve that um, the best way to do that is by using the row data bound event so during the row data bound event when the row type is footer you know that's when we are going to clear that cell and then add a new table cell let's see how to do that in action so first, let's go ahead and generate row data bound event handler. So let's get to the properties of the grid view control and then click on the events icon and then let's generate the row data bound event handler. So let's double click within row data bound event. So here I'm going to you make use of, you know, the grid view, the grid view row event arguments object. So if e dot row dot row type, if that is equal to footer row, so when the footer row is being data bound, that's when I want to remove the cells that belong to that footer row. So to do that, I'm going to say e dot row dot cells dot clear. So that's going to clear all the rows that are present within the footer row. Okay, but then we need one row. So let me go ahead and create a table cell. So a cell within the grid view control is nothing but a table cell. So I'm going to create a table cell object. So let's name it table cell is equal to new table cell. And then we want that single table cell to span across all the four columns. And to do that, we need to set a property table cell dot column span is equal to. And notice that this property obviously is an integer property. So I'm going to set that to four. And then we need to add the table cell to the row, you know, to that footer row and to do that simply you can say e dot row dot cells collection dot add what do we want to add look at that it expects a table cell object we already have created the table cell object let's add that to the collection that's it now if we run this as you might expect within the footer row you know all the four cells should have been merged into a single cell okay but then we will not have that message you know total employees count is equal to six we need because we need to compute that let's see how to do that again that's going to be very straightforward so f e dot row dot row type is equal to data row okay so what we need to basically do is we need to loop through each row you know the data rows and then count the number of employees obviously to do that I'm going to declare a variable you know of type integer remember we have to declare that variable outside of the row data bound event because this event gets fired for every row okay and then if you declare that variable inside the event handler this variable gets initialized to zero every time that's why it's important that we declare it outside of the uh, row data bound event handler and then if the row type is data row then we know for sure there is an employee data row in which case we want to increment the value of employee count by one okay and notice this here i'm using else if because you know when this row data bound event is raised it's either raised for you know the data row or the footer row you know 
it cannot be both at the same time so if it is data row it cannot be footer if it is footer row it cannot be data row okay so just to save some processing time you know use else if because if this is true it doesn't care checking this condition at all similarly if this is false it just checks this condition okay all right <clears throat> so let's uh, you know go ahead and use uh, a variable here I'm going to call that int um, count maybe is equal to zero and then basically we need to increment the value of this variable by one so count plus equals one so count is equal to count plus one and then let's use else if okay so basically what we want to do here we want to display a message within that label control and look at this another thing is we want that to be you know center aligned and I want that font to be bolded out so to do that all I'm setting is table cell dot font dot bold is equal to true and horizontal alignment of the table cell to center and then finally we display that message okay so let's do that so table cell dot font dot bold is equal to true and table cell dot horizontal align is equal to horizontal align dot center and finally we need to set the text so table cell dot text is equal to total employees count is equal to whatever is the value that's going to be in this variable count so let's copy that and convert that to string okay so let's run this now and we should have the output as we expected okay look at that total employees count is equal to six so it's very easy to merge you know the table cells within the footer row but we have to do that within the row data bound event so look if you look at this uh, we are simply clearing all the cells that are present in the footer row and then we are creating a new table cell object setting the column span to four and then whatever styling properties that you want to add like font bolding horizontal align etc set the text that you want to be in that table cell finally add that table cell pro you know object to the cells collection property of the row object in our case this is the footer row so we are adding that table cell to the footer row okay on this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.